Hi there, this is Solitaire Ronan from Solitaire Ronan Films and welcome to another random review. Today's random review is from 2009 and it's Peter Strickland's Catalan Varga. This is his debut. Um, Strickland's an interesting director. He's English but he doesn't have um, that sometimes typical English xenophobia. He does have a very broad European feel um, to his films. You know, in the extras for this film, he talks about his love for Herzog and Tarkovsky, for example. Um, Curzon have one of their carpeted box sets um, of Strickland's work out at the moment. Um, that they did with Vim Vendors and Von Trier, for example. Um, now, instead of buying that set, considering I hadn't watched his films, I thought I'll buy all his films um, on the cheap, which is rare for me. Um, so I've only watched Berberian Sound Studio with Toby Jones, which I thought was very good. Um, I've still got The Duke of Burgundy to watch. Um, I've still got Flux Gourmet to watch and I've still got In Fabric to watch so I picked all of these up cheaply rather than just blindly buying the box set which I have done in the past um, I don't know if I've watched all these films and enjoy them I may do that as well um, you know what I'm like um, but back to this film because this is fascinating this is his debut um, it was shot in Transylvania um, which is in Romania. For years I thought Transylvania was its own country. Um, maybe it was at some point in the bygone days. Um, Strickland originally wanted to make it a period film but because it's shot in Transylvania out in the countryside in the Carpathian Mountains famous for its vampire population of course um, it's practically it has the feel of a period film anyway because he realised he only had like 300,000 euros to spend um, so he couldn't afford costumes and period detail and things like that but it feels like a period piece anyway even though it's a quote modern film and contemporary film it does feel like a gothic it does feel like a fairy tale so it was shot in 17, 18 days. The post-production was two and a half years. Um, so again, these are the struggles of low-budget filmmaking. Um, certainly in the two Strickland films that I have seen so far, um, he is fantastic in building atmosphere um, from kind of slow crawling camera to sound design. Um, and this is no different. It's a simple tale of a woman called Catalan Varga, strange enough, who has a son as a product of a rape that happened to her um, about nine years ago. Um, she is married um, and she's kept this secret, obviously, um, living in a small village. But word gets out. Um, her husband disowns her, the village banishes her. Um, so she takes her son under the guise that her, his grandmother's ill um, and decides to try and find the two men um, that raped her. Um, one raped, another one stood and laughed. So it follows her journey by horse and cart again this is a modern film but areas in Transylvania still have horses and carts as 
but Strickland does say that and you know Transylvania's moved on um, so they are banning horses and carts on highways um, but at the time in 2009 um, they were still legal so she travels not by car um, by, by horse and cart which again increases the feeling that you are in a different time again Barbarian Sound Studio was kind of set in the past I believe Duke of Burgundy set in the past um, so Strickland has this interesting kind of modernity but doing things with a, a foot in the past um, the central performance by Hilda Peter is fantastic and driven. She's a very, got a very striking face, especially those cheekbones. Um, again, I'm not going to go into details of kind of what happens, but it is a very oppressive film. Um, you get wide vistas of these beautiful fields, but it's still a claustrophobic film. Um, it is honest, it is um, brutal, as most kind of original fairy tales were or are, um, but obviously with um, Disney and other um, kind of more mainstream studios that have told fairy tales in the past, they're generally given happy endings and generally kind of the darker stuff um, is kind of glossed over a little bit. Um, again, because we're in Transylvania, because we're in the Carpathian Mountains, you know, there's a wonderful shot. For example, when her son runs away from her and runs into the very dark woods. And of course it was similar woods to where she was attacked and raped. Um, so she's trying to get him out of the woods as quickly as possible and the camera just has a slow track um, into the woods and again you're imagining or you're convincing yourself is there actually something in the woods as the camera just slowly goes in um, it's very much like an Edward Hopper painting um, the gas station for example where there's just darkness um, in the woods and you kind of feel that there's something bad there. There's an amazing scene um, on a boat where Catalan is recanting or recounting even her story to a couple of people um, and the boat is slowly kind of making circles. Um, it's just a beautifully acted uh, monologue with reaction shots and again just a kind of floating camera, this kind of ethereal feel um, of the fairy tale. Um, it's just a wonderful film, again low budget, doesn't matter when you have, um, again it's a simple story but compellingly told. Again the attitudes of small towns um, the attitudes of um, people again it's also about victims of sexual assault it's pretty much ruins their life it's on their mind um, as she says every time she sees her son it reminds her um, and again obviously people that perform sexual assault um, obviously don't have any clue generally on just how it wrecks lives and ruins lives even if something you know lasts for five minutes um, it's basically lives ruined so it's a it's a beautiful horrible film I mean it is a film that could have been shot in black and white as well but again that juxtaposition of the darkness of the events with the summer sun with these golden fields and um, people running through these fields of um, waist high grass it's a lovely juxtaposition and as in Barbarian Sound Studio um, 
there's a wonderful atmosphere of dread um, and foreboding um, and again the cost of revenge and how revenge doesn't really make you feel that much better because the act that happened to her, the atrocity that happened to her still happened to her. Um, again a great performance, this was her first film, Hilda Peter's first film um, and it's really quite wonderful. Um, I think I, would, I prefer it um, a little more um, than Barbarian um, Sound Studio which was still very good. Um, this artificial eye DVD, so this is in the box set by Curzon um, on Blu-ray and it's not available on Blu-ray anywhere else in the world as far as I'm aware. So this is an artificial eye or Curzon as they are now um, DVD but it is stacked with extras. Um, there's a commentary by Peter Strick Strickland um, and also the producer I believe or it might be the co-writer, I think it's actually the co-writer. There's a wonderful making of um, as we see them shooting in Transylvania and um, there's a great interview with Peter Strickland um, so literally he had a job um, in Europe and every now and again his boss would let him take time off to go to Transylvania to scout to meet the local people um, so there's a lot of locals that are in the film um, and as I said 18 days to shoot two and a half years in post-production um, and you can see along the bottom there there's lots of production companies involved um, just to get the thing released um, and there's a theatrical trailer so there's a lot of stuff um, on this and again you, you can pick this up on DVD pretty cheaply um, or as I said it's in the Curzon carpeted material box set um, which again I've still got three more Strickland to watch but he's certainly an instant uh, interesting director um, certainly not your typical English director um, whatever that means and certainly somebody to keep an eye on so there may be more Strickland reviews or not depending how I like the other three but I would certainly recommend his debut um, it's a beautiful um, oppressive, creepy little film. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you've seen Catalan Vargan and what you think of it, or Varga even. And hopefully you'll join me again for more random reviews. This is Saul Chironan from Saul Chironan Films, saying farewell. <laughs>